Hey guys, it's Brandon, and today I'm going to be reacting to the season two, episode one episode. It hasn't been released yet, but I, um, it's about two in like four minutes. Um, I'm going to quickly play something that has been pre-recorded. I'll play that right now. Hey guys, um, this is recorded on the 29th of July, and I've not seen the episode yet. It hasn't been released. This is just to say that after my reaction to the video, to the episode, this me here will be playing saying my predictions for the episode before i've seen it then after my predictions for the episode i'm going to be saying my opinions and thoughts of the episode so i'm going to say reaction first and then i'm going to say my predictions before i've seen it which is now then afterwards you're going to see my thoughts on the episode once i've seen it so hopefully that will clear things up. I'll put I'll probably put some wording up here saying this is before I've seen the episode and this is after I've seen the episode. So hopefully that clears up any confusion. Hope you enjoy my reaction and yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's called the circus. Okay. Oh my god, baby stone is in the thumbnail. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay. Oh ready? Ready? It's 23 minutes long. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Graphic violence, strong language, sexual theme, flashing lights, rampant demon horniness. Mm. <laughs> my birthday! My birthday! It's my birthday! Oh, oh the service! Yourself, young prince, you know excitement is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. That's the bath in the background. But father told me today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Of course, I'm sure it will be wonderful. Oh, oh my god, this is so cute. Here's the gift. Here is the gift. Bayman! There is my little, uh... Which son is this one? There are so fucking many. Stolas, your highness. Stolas, yes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's the one. The owl boy. Well, uh. my little one, it is finally your day of becoming a true no. part of the Goisha family. How good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Ooh. Yes, father. You will be entrusted with the study of the Earth's skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies the of your grimoire, which grimoire. will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and so pass cute. on your knowledge to. I will do my best, father. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goisha family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she charming? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Arranged marriage. An ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> that usually works. Oh, would you like it if I took you to the circus in town? Children enjoy the circus, right? Fizz. Would that distract you no. enough from your non-negotiable future marriage? Oh, baby. Baby boy. I knew it was an arranged marriage. Is there a spot that is close to the front, but also far enough that I don't have to... Oh, smell the poor? <laughs> it's in a mirror! It's not even there, you Oh, poor baby. It's go Blitz is gonna be in this. Blitz. Blitz is gonna be in it. Let Blitz be in it, please. Where's Blitz? Blitz he has a Blitz has a past of being That's Blitz! No, that's Blitz! Yes! See me make a horse? It was destined to be! Crap! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you can do it! 
You can do it, look. Stannis. Cap Stannis, do it. Well, Ooh, blitz. it was a horse, but then it ate too much sugar and its legs stopped working, so it had to amputate. Now it's a gross worm horse. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. His horses, oh. they make no sense. Okay, Blitz, so that's enough horsing around. Hey, everybody, look at this. It's Banana Pudding the Clown Horsey. <laughs> Oh, so he's always been the better one. I horse stroke. It was funny. Their legs do stop working when they eat too much sugar. It's called <laughs> laminitis. Clever boy. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, so, uh, that was real great. So, uh, <clears throat> that little clown you have, my son father. really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. Buy him? Purchase him. Yes, accurate. So this is like a slavery thing. My son doesn't have any friends, you see. Oh. And he liked the little clown boy. Why did I think slavery? It's his birthday. Okay. He's so sad and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzerali is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, this so it would be so pretty expensive. <laughs> no, no. The other one. Blitzow? Correct. How much? Uh, well, um, he's my son, so... Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, how much you got in your pocket? A... Uh, one oh, five funny. and a slim fit condom. Yeah, <laughs> that's plenty. Done. Oh, Splendid. Fetch him for me and we will be on that's our way. all such assholes to go. Alright, let's destroy half the circus, why don't you? I'm banana pudding and I like to dance. I am war of horse. <laughs> no. I am sad. Why are you sad, Warm Horse? Mm -hmm. Because I have no legs. Oh, well, that's okay. I lost my legs in the war. <laughs> the war? <laughs> yes, the great pirate war. No, no pirates. No the great pirates. pirate war. If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I fought <laughs> bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> oh no, ew. I could no be forced to have the rain for her. What is disgusting? His. No, it's cool. <laughs> well, Banana Punning is here to save the day. With his magical mm -hmm. feet, he dances around with. He will dance all over Warm Horse and make him feel better. And then. There'll be more blood! <laughs> Uh, in Zootopia, the Zootopolis, with the blood. I got a job for you. You are going to spend the day with one of the Goetia princes. Ew. Why? <laughs> because Ew. money. Now listen carefully. You are being brought out to be his playmate. But I want you to steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly uh, can. Steal? But, steal? But if I get caught? Don't you <laughs> want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. Mm. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things. Aren't there, son? But... <laughs> yes, Papa. That's so cute. That is also the screenshot in the trailer. Oh my god! Here's a new friend, my son. A happy birthday. A friend? I guess. Hi. Uh, I'm Bloodzo. I'm Stoneless. It's nice. Ouch! Don't bow to that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, oh right. Shush. Sorry, father. I'm so good at daddying. No, you're not. <laughs> Jesus this Christ. This is my book on the difference between frogs and toads. There's a lot of differences. And this is my no. book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. No. You know it would be fun. A game. Let's play. Treasure hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates <laughs> and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we 
throw them out the window. We throw them out the window? Yes. <laughs> Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since, like, the dawn of time. Come on. Pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. <laughs> I don't think they had windows. What? Did a book say that? Yes, actually. Several. Well, in this game, we're throwing them out the window because it's fun. <sighs> well, that's an odd game. <laughs> Is this an imp game? Sure. Is this an imp Why game? Not? Well, if it's what you <laughs> want to play, let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, he's... Okay. Yeah, I see it. Stealing. I love how this is a past episode. So cute. I was right. You're going to see my predictions after my reaction to this. His dad's going to get so angry at him. Oh no. How'd you expect to get all of that? Out of the building. Oh, it's gonna be a romantic thing. A lot. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> So cute. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Blitzo, over here. Here's the screen. Here's the gif. I mean, here's the gif so from Blinken. Your diary? No. This it's is my new war. grimoire. It's a spell book. I have to learn it so that I can access the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it <laughs> to the study sky, the cool. sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up. To join the rest of the Goetia family. Well, you know what I'm going to do when I grow up? I'm going to run my own circus, and I'm going to be the most mm. famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I want to do all day. I'm going to make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big <laughs> office. A big office? He does technically do that. For a circus? Yeah, a big office. He does achieve circus one of those wishes. Circus business with clowns and horses, and the horses will have good names, like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> He's a... I'm sure Oh my you god. Will. That sounds like a good business. There's yeah. actual names that he's named You're horses in that Twitter right now. Maybe. When the characters are active <laughs> on Instagram. You'll it's so cute. You'll hire me? Yeah, if Aww. I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a good boss. You say that Aww. with sarcasm, but... You'll be a happy boss. <laughs> Here's when they grow up. This is when they grow up, right? The next scene. Yes. 25 years, so they're at least 25, they're at least in their 30s. Okay. Well, the slippers. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with baby boy? Oh. No, he stole this. Pills? I don't know what the pills are for. I need to read up on that later. The grimoire. <gasps> Is this a is this a seducing scene? Is it a seducing scene? Octavia. I know still being married isn't a big enough occasion, but to be fair, it's no picnic being married to a Stella. boring stiff like Stolas. Stolas. Solus. Dickhead. So she's always been unhappy with him. Stella. What in hell is this? Ugh, Solas, you know I like throwing parties. Plus, it's true, so you can come if you want. <laughs> She's such a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are those characters in the pilot. 
swear oh to fuck, God. he just lays there staring at the wall and I have to do everything. It's embarrassing. I'm glad one egg fell out of me so I could stop pretending to want to fuck his scrawny twig ass. Great. <laughs> She's a dickhead. Absolutely, <laughs> absolute dickhead. What a pathetic fucking man. <laughs> oh my God. She's definitely abusive. We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. I'm fine. We got this nasty <laughs> imp trying to sneak into your chambers. What should we do with him? Aww. Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. <laughs> Leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. <laughs> Follow me, <laughs> Imp. Imp. Yeah, he's sort of the lower class compared to the royals. Like, Imps are the lowest of the low. But then we have sinners, somehow. Yep, always been an unhappy marriage. Look, I, I didn't here. mean to interrupt your, whatever, the party. I, I was just trying to... Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do? Say hi. Here it is. Here's the city thing. Yes. You were here to ravish me, oh, weren't no. you? Uh, <laughs> you? Why else would you be breaking into my room? You could have asked to visit, it you know. Long. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, I figured, you know, since you're a prince and all, it might just be easier to you know, scale the walls and slip on in. It certainly is easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think. You might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. Oh, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make He's an entrance. The ladder. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, here is, over two decades here is. since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, no, no, not anymore. No, I kill not people anymore. now. Oh, <laughs> how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid do you want to be? Uh, oh, well, uh, well, I... Are you uh, nervous now? You know, yeah. I was teasing. Yeah. I don't really... You, know, you seem pretty tense. How about I help yeah, there? Is. there? Um, you know, yeah. this is um, getting a wee bit... Is it hot? I'm starting <laughs> to feel it getting very hot. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I barely remember your name. I barely remember your name. It's Blitz. Oh, didn't it have an O at the end? Like a clown Yo, son, name? No. I remember. Oh. <sighs> yeah, well, it's silent now, okay? So call me Blitz. Can I okay. <laughs> Blitz, what are you doing to me? What do you His... want me yeah. to do to you? Yeah. I, uh, well. Uh... <laughs> Oh, oh no! You are so forward, Blitz. Oh, oh, what are we doing? No, no, stay down, damn it! Oh, so you like to command? You like being in charge? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I sure do. Oh, so you like <laughs> can't you can't you? Do you like it when I talk to you dirty? I want you to <laughs> me with your <laughs> in there. Get it all the way, get it all the way through. To <laughs> Oh, stop it. Yes, if that's what Blitzy wants. <laughs> Blitzy, oh my <laughs> Oh, I've never had anyone want me this way. Oh, you have no idea oh how long God. I've craved this kind of passion and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever Gosh. friend. Oh, friend. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, do it, mate. Do this real fast. Yes. Morning after, real fast. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. What? Yes. Fuck was that yes. Blast? The that pilot was the sound of a fucking divorce. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sound of a fucking divorce. <laughs> 
this is great. I love this. I love this episode. And all right. Now it's the. This is after. This is after the episode seven. Poor baby. Happy pills. They're called happy pills. Oh, baby. Oh, splits, splits, splits. Mm. Oh, we realise he's never really been interested in him. Owl in a cage, you show your age, your sweetness has run foul. Without a change, you're lost, exhausted by your time. On stage, then you walked in my room and like sparks in the dark. Life was suddenly thrilling and new. What's between you and I? Just a comfortable lie. I'm the fool who believes when you look in my eyes. On your throne, your oh. power is so Open the doors! Yes! You yes, man! The gift! Voice. You, you raise your voice! No choice inside your gilded jail. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Reflecting. Well, Reflecting. stop! <laughs> It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. Bitch. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason. Yes. To birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out now. Yes, stand your what ground. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace, out of my life. life. We are getting the divorce. Yes. Dare Don't you dare hurt what him. What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And drill for the I don't care what it your was. arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family he wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. I'm drill. I'm drill for Fine. I'm I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had. And I know you'll pay Abusive for it. Abusive bitch. Gal. Go away. See? Everyone was defending her on Twitter saying that she- Oh no! So this is actually the bad one. She's a bitch. Confirmed. Poor baby. And that's the end? Oh my god. That was great. Well done. Oh my god. Is there an ending part? Or no? Okay. Oh my god. That was amazing. Right, right. I'm gonna say my thoughts now. <laughs> so I'm aware that in season one, episode eight, um, the part two isn't going to be released and it's just gonna go straight to season two. I think that has to do with some copyright issues. I don't know what about. Maybe it's music. But um apparently season two being released won't affect anything to do with part two of episode of um episode seven. So yeah, um, just letting you know that I'm aware of that. I'm assuming that the episode 8 of season 1 is going to be about the gluttony ring that we see here. About the wolves and that, and the fact that this wolf hits on Luna with Blitz in the car. It seems like it is the aftermath of that episode, and we might not see it in season 2, episode 1. So my predictions for this episode will be that it's taking place in the past. Or it will show flashbacks of the past. We're going to see Solus as a child, evidently in this gif that Hulubaboss on Twitter has posted. And he looks so cute, he's so adorable. And we're also going to see his father called Payman. And this is the gif. 
very spooky shape-shifting creatures going on. I really hope that Sirtis' father will be good and be nice to him, but he might actually just be abusive, unfortunately. I really hope it doesn't turn out to be, but it most likely will, because it's hell. It's also confirmed that we'll see Blitz as a child, evidently in this screenshot that I found, of Blitz's child voice actor. So we'll see child Blitz at some point, also it's pretty evident in the season 2 trailer. But why I'm bringing this up is because I hope that Solus and Blitz interact at some point in this episode as children. That would be great. Also, I'm very sorry if you hear any background noise or anything. I'm at my grandparents' house. So you have to deal with that. We also see a gif of Blitz seducing Solus. And in the season 2 trailer, you can see him like running away flustered. So... This is definitely them like meeting like for the first time or something around that, like one of the first times that they meet. And it's the deal to do with the book. So it'll be fun to see them interacting for the first time. I <laughs> I'm very excited for that. Also, Viv posted um a photo of Andrelfus, I think that's his name, who is Solus's brother in law, and apparently he's not a good person. Um, hopefully he's in this episode, probably isn't maybe but he could be because i think in this gif Solus is crying because of his unhappy marriage with stella and i think that her brother's gonna be in it somehow i don't know but this gif i think it really is about him crying about how he's in this unhappy marriage and i th also i also think that this is an arranged marriage which makes it even more sad but they have to actually they have to stayed together because of the royal bloodline and they had octavia so yeah one more thing uh this has nothing to do with anything but um it's kind of funny and i'd like to share it this is the only fandom that has the staff members actually confirm that someone has that certain certain type of genitalia or not i swear this is the only fandom that can do that kind of thing because on twitter a staff member was given permission by viv to confirm Stolus does not have a dick. He has a cloaca, which is a th something that um, birds have. They don't. Ha well, he he's still a male because so this is a bit of bird anatomy. Basically, Stolus is a male. He's a male bird. Male birds have their testicles inside of their stomach. It's kind of like how human women or, or trans men who haven't had surgery have um, ovaries inside their stomachs. So it's kind of like that. So, um, all birds have cloacas, and um, with their mating, they just kind of do that, pretty much. So, yeah, fun fact. Another thing, this has nothing to do with predictions, by the way, I'm just letting you know. In episode 6 in the storyboards, um, we see the line, calm your dick, or something like that. But in the actual episode, they changed it to bird puss, because they realise that Solus doesn't have a dick because he's a bird. <laughs> I find that really funny. So yeah, these are pretty much my predictions, very short and sweet, but um, I hope I aced it, I hope I did really well. Um, real quickly, here's another prediction. I think that Blitz will have his own past episode, where you see like Viz and him like interacting. I don't know if they're all going to be clumped into one episode, I'm not so sure about that. I think this is just going to be purely based on Solus's past. And then, or, wait, ooh. Could be the first half of the episode is based on Solus' past, and then we'll see um, Blitz's past in the second part, second bit of the episode. That'd be fun. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, this has been a mess. I've been trying. I'm gonna try and edit this the best I can. But um, yeah, I'm very excited for this episode. I cannot wait to see it. See you guys. Okay, so this is the aftermath. That was amazing. That was such a good episode, and I'm so happy. <laughs> It's like all I wanted and more. It had everything that we wanted. I am so happy. Um, okay, a few things for my predictions. I remember saying Okay, start from the beginning. It was a past episode. It was. And I was kind of right because I thought it was gonna be like a flashback episode, which it was. And I thought like it would change from them being kids and then adults and then kids and adults. But no, it was just showing them growing up. I am so happy that I was right that it was an arranged marriage. I fucking nailed that on the head. Yes. I knew it. 
Stella is a bitch. I've always thought she was a bitch. I hate her guts. I am so happy. Oh, I feel so bad. And oh. Okay, get my thoughts together. I knew that Payman wasn't going to be a good father because, you know, the fact that he said, what one are you again? Like, he, oh my God, that pissed me off so much. Like, he didn't even have his father there for him. I don't know where the mother is, but he definitely didn't have his father there for him and the imps had to take care of him. That's so upsetting. Oh, Stella. I can't get over how mean Stella was and she's definitely like abusive because she was going to hit Stolas. That is not okay. That is domestic abuse. Jesus Christ. I'm so happy for him being able to stand his ground and divorcing her. And um I love all the references to Pilot. And um yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just it's so good. I love how they also mention Andreafus, which is, um, I think that's just how you say his name, Andreafus, which is, who is Stellis's brother. Um, apparently he's a real bitch, so, yeah. It was so cute to see how they met, and how literally at love at first sight for Stellis to see Blitz. And it was sad to see that Blitz doesn't feel the same way at the moment. Like, Stellis realised that, um... Blitz never really felt the same, and he might start to going forward, but yeah. Also, I was right with um Fizz gonna be in this episode. I think I said that he was going to be in it. I hoped that he was gonna be it, and I was in, I was right. He was gonna be in it, so that's great. Um, what else can I say? All I can say is I'm happy that Blitz was in it. I thought it was just gonna be a soulless focused episode, so that was my bad. Um, it was a Stolas focused episode, but it had Blitz in it. I thought that was going to be just solely Stolas, and then it was going to be a Blitz episode in the second one. I was so glad it, like, it had so much good stuff in it, all throughout. There was not one bad part. It was great. And, um, yeah. Um, the fathers in the show, except Stolas, are fucking horrible. <laughs> I mean, except, um, Millie's, Millie's dad. He's, eh. But, I mean, Bliss's dad literally traded him for a condom and a wrapper. What the fuck? <laughs> well, like a scent. I, f- I forgot. Anyway, I'm just spinning my thoughts. Um, I'm really sad that Sturlis is sad currently. Um, and he has to take happy pills. I found that kind of disappointing. I didn't really understand the song that much. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I'll probably go back and watch that later on and see on Twitter what people think of it. But yeah, anyway, amazing episode, 10 out of 10, and um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy my reaction, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode, so yeah, bye!